Hey guys, what's happening? So, I was charging my uh, Nitro RC car the other day, and I had this little AA uh, glow plug igniter, and this thing would just go through batteries in half a second. It was seriously frustrating me. So, I went online to Amazon, and I actually was curious to see what they had for lithium ion AA batteries. And we saw this, and uh, it was definitely pretty interesting. So, it does, uh, it's 1.5 volt, obviously, for AA. And it actually has some interesting, like, micro USB input that I'll show you in a second. Um, <clears throat> it's 3300 milliwatt hour, and that equals 3.3 uh, uh, watt or 2.2 uh, amp hour. How do you do the math on that? Um, yeah, pretty cool so far. I mean, it has like this four little thing on it. Yeah, I'm glad they finally came out with this technology, man, because it was frustrating me. Like, the nickel metal hydrate batteries kind of suck, and obviously NICAD's really bad, but... Yeah, lithium ion, so that, that's pretty cool. It's gold plate, it looks like. Look at these, but... What I thought was interesting was this micro USB charger input right there. So you can see that, it has a little micro USB, so... You sell these on Amazon. Alright, cool. So let's get these things charged up. So I have my little uh, high-tech charger over here. And I actually have a uh, little inline USB volt and uh, amp meter. So we can see how much this thing is actually pulling here. But I'm, I'm assuming there's probably some sort of like... Uh, because it's lithium ion, you don't want to overcharge these cells. There's some sort of like uh, internal charge controller in, in the cell. Because you don't really... I mean, this thing is going to be probably like a... If you can plug this into a, like a USB port, the USB port's not going to know when to discharge this thing or stop. So there has to be some sort of internal charge controller in this battery. So let's take them just look at the manual real fast. I'll say this should be I didn't read that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna plug this in here. USB port. I might want to see what these things are pulling. Alright, we'll charge all these up. Get your red LED. Get them all plugged in. Yeah, this the plug the the USB port right here is capable of 2.1 amp. Let's take a look at that. So these are 20 bucks. weren't too expensive, so that's actually not bad. Considering how much double A's are. All right, it's pulling. Uh, drop down to 4.88 volts, and it's pulling 1.2 amp. I won't be able to see that. Let's see. So 4.88 volt and 1.2 amp. Yeah, like I said, there must be some sort of internal charge controller. Or um, it's lithium ion, so these things actually can explode. So if you ever charge these things, it's you know it's, these things can be dangerous. So yeah. All right, cool. Um, I mean, it's just a double-A battery, so I really, I mean, I'm not going to give you, like, a like a review, but it's, I mean, it should be actually stronger than a double-A battery. At least the actual capacity should be better. Alkaline. All right, guys, cool. Uh, if you saw these on Amazon, put a link down below, but uh, this is what that looks like. So, all right, cool.